Hello friends, my name is Amarchi Bhardwas and in this video, I am going to show you how to create a model like this on OSS Metage. So this is a 3D model against a gravity anomaly. So in a step-by-step -step manner, I am going to show you how to create this 3D model. So this is an in 3D inversion model against a gravity anomaly. To create such model for either for gravity anomaly or a magnetic anomaly, we need to have a gravity anomaly grid or a magnetic anomaly grid. So in this tutorial, I am using the gravity anomaly grid grid. So this is my gravity anomaly grid. Along with this gravity anomaly grid, you also require an elevation grid also. So this is the elevation. Um, Grid of the area, the same area where the gravity anomaly uh, has been observed or measured. So let us create. So for this, for creating a model like this, like this boxy model, 3D model, we need an extension of process montage called boxy extension. So on this boxy extension, you can see on your menu bar. But if it doesn't appear in your menu bar, you can go to this uh, project explorer and manage menus. Just click on it. You will find a boxy extension, boxy here. Just select this boxy and click OK. You will get the boxy menu in the menu. So first, I'm going to show you how to create this to the boxy model. So we have two grids. One is the Gujian anomaly grid, and another is the elevation grid. So just click on the boxy, and you have many options like new boxy from polygon, new boxy from boxer, open boxy, and metadata. So just click on the new boxy from polygon. So this is the one way to create a boxy model. So here you have to get the name of the boxy model that you are going to create. So I am giving the name boxy gravity A7. So you can give any name uh, as per your convenience. And then you have to get the polygon file. So either you have already prepared a polygon file. Polygon file is nothing but just selecting a polygon from the bed. So you can also create a polygon. At this time also, just you can see the button here, create polygon, just click on it, and then you select a polygon on the grid, and your polygon file will be created. So you just save the polygon file and browse the polygon file from here. I've already prepared the polygon file. So I'm selecting this gravity polygon file for my purpose. And then you have to give the surface definition, must be elevation data for the topography data. So DM grid is required. So already I have prepared a gravity elevation grid. So we just click on the gravity elevation grid. Then you have to select the method. For magnetic anomaly, you have to give the magnetics. For gravity, you have to select the gravity. Uh, one of the problem of my uh, system is that to my versus montage license is a training license, so I'm not, uh, it cannot uh, it, uh, build a high resolution model. My license is limited up to the model with resolution of 50 meters. So I have selected this 50 meter. You can select a high, higher resolution model. Uh, you can select 10 meter resolution also. So based on your license. So, I have selected 250 meters. Now click OK. And the process has been started for creating a boxy model. Okay. It will take some time. You have to wait. Until the model. Now here you will get a pop thing that uh, tells you that your boxy session doesn't currently contain measurement data. Would you like to run the add data visual? Yes. I click yes. 
And then since I'm using the grid, not the database, so I have selected the grid. Now sensor grid will be my gravity blue anomaly grid, and my elevation grid will be the elevation grid. So select the elevation grid here and click next. So it is saying that more than 50% of the data are located below the DM. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Click yes. Now you will get the absolute error here uh, because the model that is created is going to fix your um, gravity anomaly data. So this is the error value that you get here, which is commendable, which is under. Uh, which is not a, which is a good fit. So just click on next. Then there's a, then this window is telling you that the information about the background removal. You just check the range, whether it is within the range or not. This is the better data statistics. So it all appears good. So I'm going to click the finish button. And now you can see that my boxy model has been created. So my boxy model has been created. But you have you will see that no material is present below the gravity model. Also, because in order to get the material distribution or the density distribution, we need to run the inversion algorithm. So for that, we go to the model menu and the boxy, boxy viewer and click on it. You will get the run inversion. You just click on it to run the inversion algorithm. So it will take time because uh, my system is based on cloud system. So first it is running on the server, then and it is being downloaded on the system, so it is taking time. But if your process montage is installed in your, on your local machine, the process will be much faster than this. So you have to wait until your the algorithm process is completed. So you have to wait until you get the message that your emotion. Um, is successful. So just wait. And here you see that the inversion has been started taking place and this data is success. Now you can see that the inversion has been completed. But the now you can see the density distribution below the gravity anomaly. But uh, the color appearance is not good. Uh, so you can correct the dynamic range of the color by clicking on the color tab and just click on the color tool button. You will when a window where you can see that uh, distribution. So it is a linear distribution. You can change it to other kind of distribution. I'm selecting the histogram utilization. Select yes. And then you can see that the color distribution is now good, now better. And you can observe the density distribution below the writing. So this is the inversion result that you have got. Now click on the clicking tab and if you want to see the slices along x-axis, you just slide this path, you will see the various slices. So this is the result of the 3D inversion. So you can see these slices, various slices of the network. Similarly, you can see the slices of the y-axis also. So this is the y-axis. 
So we just slide this filter and see the prices one to one. So this is all about creating the boxy model and going to 3D immersion. So thank you very much. For more videos, keep keep on listening on my YouTube channel. Have a nice day. Thank you.